Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Aziza Sisei, a GP with specialist interest in women's and gynecological health. Welcome to the myth busting series. Today's topic is polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS. Myth number one, PCOS is rare. PCOS is relatively common. It's said to affect one in 10 women of reproductive age. However, according to the World Health Organization, up to 70% of affected women remain undiagnosed worldwide. So the figure is probably much higher. Myth number two, PCOS only happens if you're overweight. PCOS is associated with weight gain, but it can and does affect individuals who are not overweight. A lot of the weight gain is thought to be because of insulin resistance associated with the condition, meaning the body is unable to utilize insulin properly. Insulin is a hormone which is produced by a gland in the body called the pancreas, and it helps to process the sugar in the body. When there's insulin resistance, the pancreas releases more insulin, which encourages more fat storage and increases hunger, hence the weight gain. There is a vicious cycle of raised insulin in the blood attributing to weight gain, which raises the level of insulin further, making it difficult to lose weight. Myth number three, you can never get pregnant with PCOS. One of the complications that can occur with PCOS is issues with ovulation. That is, an egg is not released every month and so fertility is affected. It is said to be the leading cause of infertility. Having said this, it doesn't mean that pregnancy is impossible. In fact, there are many who go on to have healthy, spontaneous pregnancies. So please discuss the options with your doctor. There are remedies which can help stimulate ovulation and assisted pregnancy options are also available. Myth number four, it is your fault that you have it. I really hate this myth. And if you have PCOS, please know that this is not your fault. And if someone says that to you, they are absolutely wrong and they do not know what they're talking about because it's just not true. You are not to blame. The cause of PCOS is still not very well understood and there are several suspected factors. Having a family history or being diagnosed with type two diabetes thus puts you at risk. Myth number five, you will always have cysts on your ovaries. So this myth is way too common because of its name. It's polycystic ovarian syndrome. So of course there'll be multiple cysts on the ovaries, right? Nope, the name is a misnomer. You don't have to have cysts in your ovaries to be diagnosed. You only need to fulfill two out of three criteria to be diagnosed. And these include having irregular periods, having symptoms of raised male sex hormones called androgens, such as excessive hair growth on the face, chest, and so on, or having raised levels of these hormones in the blood, or having multiple cysts on the ovaries. So if you have two out of the three and they don't include the multiple cysts, you can still be diagnosed with PCOS. Had you heard any of these myths? Did I miss any? Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification on. Bye.